Delcy, your career has been an interesting one where you've switched from being a medical doctor and now to a social activist. Take us through how you've transitioned through the various phases. Social activist, wow, nice title. Yeah, but it's, it's more just, you know, just having a conscience and seeing what is happening around you, you know, seeing the injustices of the public versus the private healthcare system and just uh, wanting to play your own small little role, you know, in making a difference. You make quite a clear distinction between private healthcare and public healthcare. Yes. Where would you say you position yourself between the two? I am private healthcare, you know, but in a, a more affordable uh, we are an affordable solution for communities that would not normally afford to go to a private GP for health care. Uh, we are the solution. So I would say we are a notch above the, the public health, health system, but we are definitely 100% private health services. But we do, you know, try and, 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 and form public-private partnerships with, with uh, government institutions. And of course, you've chosen the entrepreneurial route yes. with your company, Accessible Quality Health Services. Please tell us, what does the company do? It aims to, to, to provide access, you know, to quality private health care for low to middle income uh, communities. We call them UK working clinics. Most uh, importantly, we empower our patients to make healthy lifestyle choices such that they are able to, to just live happier and, and healthier lifestyles. We hear a lot of people speak of entrepreneurs as people out there with a profit motive. Yes. How does that now, your pricing and where you pitch your business, affect your profitability and ability to run your business? Because it's a social enterprise, you know, obviously it is driven, you know, by the social need you know, like, and, and addressing what, what is lacking in society. But at the end of the day, it still has to be pro profitable so that it is able to sustain itself, you know, without looking for donor funding, you know, and things like that. So there is profit, but that means from us, like, a strict cost management and, and just cutting the frills and, and, and focusing on what is really needed in, in the community. If I can turn back to your business, Accessible Healthcare Solutions, what are the next steps and where would you see yourself in the next couple of years? Currently for this year, you know, we already have the three medical practices and uh, by May we would have established uh, the 24-hour clinic in Park Station in Johannesburg. You know, that is where we see, we see ourselves going to have a, even a bigger impact, you know, because we want to be able to cover like also uh, procedures, you know, that some of the procedures that people would normally refer to private hospitals for, we would be able to do in such a center, you know, so we would be saving the market in that way, like, you know, just bringing the costs down of even procedures, not just normal consultations and medication. And I think with more funding after that, we'll be able to expand into all the areas of South Africa, the townships you know, in the rural areas of South Africa and just have more company contracts. So I think the dream is maybe in five to ten years have like a national footprint. A lot of entrepreneurs will complain that are constrained to growing their businesses funding. How have you been able to circumvent that? It is a constraint. It is a real constraint. And up to so far, we have been just bootstrapping you know, the business. Uh, with the Park Station project being like a very big project that we would not be able to do without funding. We are speaking to potential funders. We have two already that have expressed 100% uh, interest, you know. So I think we are at a stage where we just, we will just be comparing what the conditions would be. Dulcie, we thank you so much and wish you all the best in your efforts. Right, thank you so much.